deposed Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi's trial has been postponed. CBS News international correspondent Clarissa Ward is in the courtroom, and she says it's like a circus. That court case has been adjourned until January 8th, which will make security forces very happy uh, because things are very tense on the streets today. There are a handful of Morsi supporters behind me who are protesting, and there are protests like this across the Capitol. Security forces out on mass. Really, they want to make sure that we don't see violence again. You're listening to NCN News. The following is a paid announcement. My name is Jim Hansen, and as a veteran, it was my privilege to serve with the best soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines that America had to offer. After serving my country, I became an operating engineer and worked beside the best trained, skilled craft workers in the world. Now I'm retired, but based on my life experience, I am very concerned that the Keystone XL pipeline is being unnecessarily delayed. KXL will enhance national energy security and create thousands thousands of jobs for my fellow union members. Five years ago, the application was filed with the government for the construction of the Keystone XL pipeline. During that time, four environmental studies have been conducted that came to the same conclusion. KXL would have minimal impact on the environment. The government must stop dragging its feet. Call your senators and ask them to urge presidential approval of Keystone XL. Or for more information, go to jobscantwait.org. This message was paid for by the Oil and Natural Gas Industry Labor Management Committee. The North Carolina Department of Transportation Fleet and Material Unit will conduct a surplus auction and equipment public auction on Wednesday, November 6th at the Cleveland County Fairgrounds from 9 a.m. until the last item is sold. The fairgrounds are located at 1751 East Marion Street in Shelby. All items can be previewed on Tuesday, November 5th from 8 a.m. till 4 p.m. and Wednesday, November 6th from 8 a.m. till 9 a.m. on location. A list of all items to be sold, along with registration and payment requirements, will be on the website, www.ncstatesurplus.com. For further information, contact Peggy Batters at 919-733-2220. Auctioneer William A. Lineberry, license number 214. Yes, Cleveland County, you do have a train dealer. From Kings Mountain to Polkville, from Londell to Bellwood, from Falston to Earl, Roland Black Heating and Air will be there for you. They're only a phone call away at 704-865-1375. In minutes, a comfort specialist will be at your door for your heating or cooling needs. Yes, it's hard to stop a train. Again, call Roland Black Heating and Cooling at 704-865-1375. Your hometown train dealer for over 36 years. This week on CMT Radio Insider, who Brad Paisley credits as a major influence on his kids. Nobody works harder at picking up the slack in our children's lives. And Chris Young reports from his visit to Canada where he's been taking in some of the beautiful sights. Not only country, but people too. So it's... <laughs> Plus, Toby Keith has a brand new album out. He calls in this week on Insider. CMT Radio Insider, Monday afternoons at 1 o'clock, right here at Big O Country. Since 1983, Bill Shuford Heating and Air has been providing dependable service and quality products to the Cleveland County and surrounding area. And the tradition continues today with quality American Standard heating and air conditioning systems. Plus, if you need a repair, Bill Shuford Heating and Air services all brands including Train. Just call 704-484-0025 for Bill Shuford Heating and Air. 213 Campbell Street in Shelby, your American Standard heating and air conditioning dealer. It's where your comfort is our concern. We should see a mix of sunshine and increasing high cloudiness around the area today as high pressure remains in control, but some upper-level moisture flows in from the west on occasion. It'll be breezy and very cool out with low humidity and highs around 53 to 58. Tonight, we'll call it partly to mostly cloudy and chilly with lows in the low to mid-30s. Then on Tuesday, a mix of clouds and sunshine will turn a little warmer tomorrow, though still cool with highs 56 to 61. I'm meteorologist Mike Moss in the Weather Center. Currently at the Big Old Country Studios, it's 10, 11, and the temperature is 47 degrees. Hello, this is Milton Baker. Did you know Christmas begins November 9th at the Red Rabbit 27 shops on Highway 27 east of Lincoln? And Big Old Country, WCSL, WLON, and WOHS will be there broadcasting live from 11 a.m. till 1 p.m. We'll have free hot dogs, drinks, and chips, and giveaways, too. And you can visit the Red Rabbit 27 merchants who will be on hand to greet you and assist you with your holiday shopping experience. 
you'll find something for everyone on your Christmas list. The Christmas open house is from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. And hey kids, check this out. Santa Claus will be on hand from 11 a.m. till 2.30 p.m. That's right, bring the kids and your camera and get a picture with Santa at the Red Rabbit 27 this Saturday from 11 to 2.30 p.m. Be sure to visit the Merchant's Christmas Tree Lane. Make a monetary donation to your favorite tree. All proceeds go to Christian Ministries of Lincoln County. So come on out this Saturday, November 9th for the live radio remote, free hot dogs, chips, drinks, giveaways, and Santa Claus too. And stay all day for the Christmas Open House. 905 Red Rabbit 27, Highway 27 East of Lincolnton. Former club members Denzel Washington and Jennifer Lopez for the Boys and Girls Clubs. Every child follows a path in life. For many, that path will lead them to a door, a door that gives them a place to grow, to learn, to belong, a place to forge their future. You can change a child's future. Support your local Boys and Girls Clubs. Great futures start here. You can open doors for children to have great futures at the Boys and Girls Club of Cleveland County. Visit us at 412 West Sumter Street or at greatfutures.org. It's that time of the year again to start thinking about Christmas. Yes, it's just around the corner. And a good place to start is the Bargain Station brand name outlet. They've got something for everyone on your gift list. From jewelry and watches to sporting goods, including golf clubs. Also luggage and plenty of housewares, even bicycles. And they have toys for Christmas too. The Bargain Station name brand outlet. 4400 East Dixon Boulevard in Shelby, next to Honda Motorcycles. Open Tuesday through Friday, 9.30 till 6, Saturdays 9 a.m. till 2 p.m. Good morning. It's time now for the Community Profile on this Monday, the 4th of November. 14 minutes past the hour of 10 o'clock. Milton Baker and Sandy Alexander, the co-host and executive producer of the show, in the studio today. Good morning, Sandy. Good morning. How are you? Oh, doing just fine. Doing just fine as we are broadcasting live on WLON, WOHS, WCSL, and you can watch on ktcbroadcasting.com. Yes, you can. There we are, right there. There on. we are. My okay. glasses on my nose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, would you please introduce our guest uh, today? I will be happy to. Today we have Miss Kylie Kite. She is the area coordinator for the Operation Christmas Child for Cleveland, Gaston, and Lincoln counties. Girl, what a job you've got! It's a wonderful job. It's a wonderful job. So. Uh, fill us in. Tell us exactly what uh, you're doing and what we need to do to help out with this venture. Well, it's easy. Pack shoe boxes. Um, a lot of people don't realize all that the shoe box goes through and all the, th- um, the stuff that it does overseas once it leaves here. But we have the joy of packing the shoe boxes. We love at home. The boys love. They get into it and we find everything we can put in the shoe box. So it's a lot of fun. Uh-huh. What type of uh, items do you put in a shoebox now? What are we um, talking about? Things that we would take for granted here in the U.S. Mm-hmm. The, the simple things like um, school items, pencils, crayons, rulers, paper, personal products like toothbrushes, toothpaste, um, no kind of liquids. That's one mm-hmm. thing. A lot of people want to put hand sanitizer or you know soaps or shampoos. Those type things can't go. Bar soap mm-hmm. can go. That's fine. But... Um, mm-hmm. Just things like that, and then throw some toys in there and some hard candy, and they love it. Okay. Yeah. All right. And to them, it's just uh, it, you know wonderful for them to. I mean, I've I've noticed uh, footage on TV when they when they go and they give them to them. Why, my goodness, that's the best Christmas in the world for them. It is, and you know, it's a good way for to teach your children, you know, oh, not yeah. to take things for granted. Because if we give our kids now here in the U.S. a shoebox of those simple things, you know, they're probably not going to get all excited about it but i get in tears watching the videos of the kids mm. opening them you know now and where are the shoe boxes going to they go all over the world we've mm. actually i was looking at my facts here because i'm not good with facts 138 different countries since mm. it was started in 1990 that they went to so okay. all over the world so the shoe boxes uh you're the uh 
coordinator for the three county area but uh, uh, they're not distributed uh, to kids in the in those counties it's it's people and kids in those counties who are who are working to help the children outside the United States exactly okay. um, yeah that sounds great so, and it's a great it's a great teaching tool for children as you said you know yeah. not to take uh, the simple things for granted that uh, you know a lot of a lot of kids in this uh, in these areas are you know everyday things mm. they just expect to be there right well and then once the children receive it that may be the only gift in their life that they mm. ever receive you know and to think that you've got a part in that mm. um, but then once they receive that shoe box the joy that's there the anticipation that's actually when the whole process is just beginning with the shoe box and that's what a lot of people don't realize you know they think it's just another gift or another way to get get my money and that's not what it's all about at all mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh, once the shoe box is dropped there by helicopter or taken in by donkey or by plane or on boats we've got pictures of them boxes tied to yachts or um you know however they get there then they're distributed to the local pastors in these other countries mm -hmm. and the children come sometimes it's hard for those pastors to be able to reach out to the children because they don't have any kind of programs like we have here in the u.s and so the children will come to the church there, and the local pastor actually hands out those shoe boxes. You know, we see pictures of Franklin Graham. Uh, he don't deliver all the shoe boxes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be, be kind of tough to do them yeah, all. Yeah, it would. Yeah. yeah, I was going to ask you about that, the, the patch you wear on your jacket, Operation Christmas Child uh, Samaritan's Purse. So uh, this is project through Samaritan's Purse. It is, Tell yeah. Us. Under the large umbrella, there's a lot of things that they do, the mm -hmm. disaster relief and all those things that... Yeah, this is one aspect. And a lot of people think that Billy Graham, Franklin Graham started the project, mm -hmm. but it was actually started in 1990 in Wales, and it was started for the orphanages in Romania because they didn't mm -hmm. have family, and he wanted to give them some gifts, and it just got to where it grew too large for him to handle, and that's when he approached Franklin Graham and Billy Graham about taking the project over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Sandy? Well, I know at in my own church we've done this before, and it, it is a joy just to... You know, you can go to the Dollar Tree and, and just walk down through there and pick up stuff that you think is mundane but just will put a smile on the, that child's face. And uh, <clears throat> to me, that's what Christmas is all about anyway. That's exactly right. You get to be a part of somebody else's life somewhere that will never see you, you yeah. know. Yeah. That's just neat. And uh, part of your duties are going out, and as Sandy mentioned, her church, do you go out and try to get groups, churches, and clubs and different people to to do these shoebox uh, projects yeah um actually i'm a part of the team i head up a team we have five different areas and we actually have 23 people on our team and we all work together there's no way that one person could do everything that we do mm -hmm. um we go into different churches and try to get new churches we support churches that already pack making sure they get materials and understand how the process works we also do community groups like you know we've done chick-fil-a in the past um the clock here in shelby's working with us this year um then we also do media you know that aspect of it we try and get the word out on facebook and on twitter and those type things so it's a big involved process and then mm -hmm. all of our sister teams around us um, we work together with them to you know try and make sure that everybody is taken care of of course there's some that we've not got into we've just not had that opportunity so we like it when they come seeking us out hey you can mm -hmm. come speak at my church tell us more about this so yeah, yeah. sure all right Sandy? How many countries, you know, do you normally deliver to? Well, in the past, um, since it was started in 1990, there's been 138 different countries. Um, excuse me, 148 different countries. But it just depends. You can actually, when you pack a shoebox now, there's a $7 processing fee. That helps so that the ministry is able to ship the shoeboxes without it having the project having to be funded. Um, by staff members. There's volunteers that do this all over the world that help get the shoebox mobilized, but then there's, you know, shipping costs to get it from here to there on boats or planes or however they get there. Um, so, you know, the follow your box that you can do online at SamaritansPurse.org, you can actually print out a label to put on your shoebox, and it has a barcode. And when it's processed at whatever processing center, it's scanned, and then whatever country it's taken to they scan it again so you get an email and it tells you what country your shoebox went to oh yeah mm -hmm. but we don't have any way of knowing mm -hmm. in advance where it's going to go the shoe boxes are these are these just regular shoe boxes yeah just, just regular or, or shoe boxes. Any, or, no, yeah no. you bought 
you know, three or four pairs of shoes this year. Fill those shoe boxes with right. some gifts. Do they do they have to be wrapped or? Uh, no, they know. don't. And yeah. you know you can, um, but generally when they're being processed, there's a lot of different hands they go through. They may get torn. We try and mm-hmm. tape it back up so the child has something. But the mm-hmm. main thing is make sure that you do not tape it shut. You know, like a gift here we. We don't want nobody to get in. Well, at Charlotte or whatever processing center it goes to, they have to be able to open it and make sure nothing in there is going to harm the child. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. And this is a uh, countrywide, nationwide project, an overseas project as oh, well. Oh, yeah. 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 The People here in the U.S. pack boxes, all over the world pack boxes. You know, I didn't yeah. realize other countries did it too, but it's not yeah. just us. Yeah. So it's, it's a wide, wide spread uh, major operation it is. and you mentioned uh, the country of romania yes uh, some of the other countries that uh, what are some of the other countries that uh, you can think of that might um, receive these these shoe boxes uh, asia africa you know china japan no, we had never been able to go into japan and take mm-hmm. the gospel before but with the tsunami and stuff that happened we were able to come back later and bring shoe box gifts into the children so okay. recently japan so okay good deal all right well, that's wonderful you know christmas means a lot of things to a lot of people but when uh, when you think about a child and you know, we spoil our kids. I know I spoiled mine. I'll admit it. <laughs> uh, but when you take a little child that never gets anything, and they get a pencil and a razor, and they're thrilled to death with just the mundane, simple little things, that that's such a blessing to be able to give them that. So I'm going to fix a shoebox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You might get addictive and fix two or three. <laughs> I just might. I just might. But uh, well, there's actually stories of I've never got to personally go deliver boxes overseas, but there's um, people that I get to work with that get to do that quite regularly. And they tell stories of this one little girl. Um, she was living in an orphanage and they took boxes there. And she took um, Jennifer, she's the staff member in Charlotte, by the hand and showed her the little tiny box. And she told her that was all that her personal belongings that she had fit in a small little tiny tin, you mm. know, and just a thing. That's all they have, wow. yeah. you know. Mm. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah, it tugs at your uh, emotions, doesn't it? It yeah. does. Yeah. So with Christmas coming up, this is this is the time, you know, folks get that generous feeling. I mean, you know, things have not been well economy-wise in this country for several years now, of course, but uh, but folks still find it in their heart to help the others they do and and the contributions to operation christmas child uh uh still still pretty good i mean you know oh yeah yeah. we did uh, just in our hundred million celebrated our 20 years um so it's amazing that it's not shrinking back so we're anticipating nine million shoe boxes this year so so it's continuously growing growing. yeah and And then the need of grows and grows as well it does every 12 years there's a new cycle of children you Mm -hmm. know so every 12 years we have a whole new market of children to reach um but people think that it costs a lot of money to do a shoebox and it really doesn't um Mm -hmm. you know you can be thrifty if you're coupon you can go get toothpaste for next to nothing or you know toothbrushes at the dollar store or like she mentioned going to the dollar stores and getting stuff or getting clothes on clearance you know look for you might not have a child that's two or three or four years old, but if you know, hey, I'm going to be packing a shoebox this year, keep an eye out for clearance clothes that will fit that range of child and just get stuff all through mm-hmm. the year. And then when it comes Christmas, it's not a big deal to put all that stuff together into a shoebox. Do you have a, uh, I'm sure there is, uh, like most everything these days, you mentioned the Internet. Is there a website folks can go to to get more information or ideas of what they should they could put in these shoe boxes who've never done this before oh yeah samaritanspurse.org and then at the top you can click on operation christmas child you can find all the information there um if you're on facebook to actually like it here locally for cleveland gaston and lincoln counties we have a facebook page it's occ western piedmont nc you can go like our facebook page and get local information and then if you're in a different county and you want to be looked up with them we can get you plugged in there but Mm -hmm. yeah twitter i don't do twitter personally so i can't tell you what we are on twitter sorry (laughs) (laughs) well when will uh this stuff be delivered i mean do you have a a time to start and a cutoff date um 
Well, the National Collection Week, when we collect them nationally at all the local drop-off sites, is November the 18th through the 25th. It's always the third week of November. Um, some people do mail in their shoe boxes to the different processing centers, and they can do that. Or if they're just too busy to build a box, you know, you can go online to SamaritansPurse.org and build a box there, and you can pay for the items to go in the box, and then somebody else will go purchase the items for you and pack the shoe box. So. Mm -hmm. All right. And so, uh, again, folks listening out there, uh, you are the uh, coordinator for yeah. uh, Gaston, Lincoln, and Cleveland counties. Yeah. So uh, you work with a pretty, pretty broad area there, and there's lots of drop-off drop off spots in all the counties. Oh, yeah, there are. I, there's 10 here for us this year in those three counties. So mm -hmm. there's, you know, we have some in Lincolnton, some in Boger City, Shelby, Bullen Springs, Polkville. Um, they're Cherryville. We've mm -hmm. got some everywhere. Okay. So if uh, folks want to uh, find out more, and like I said, you, you come out and you talk to different groups or churches mainly, I mm -hmm. guess, but you can talk to other groups too that you that are interested in getting uh, getting the ball rolling on these, uh, on the Operation uh, Christmas Child shoe boxes. Oh, right? anybody and everybody that'll listen, yeah. yeah. <laughs> i tell you something, Kylie is, uh, if I could bottle of that energy that this girl has, <laughs> she's a mother of three uh, give me their uh, their ages again. Uh, six and a half, two, and three months. Three months. I wouldn't have a hair in my head. <laughs> Mine's turning gray, and I'm <laughs> not 30 yet, so it's just too early. But, and she still does this, which she dearly loves, and she's <laughs> passionate about, and raises three beautiful boys, my three sons. Yeah, my three sons. <laughs> and... Uh, she is an amateur photographer, which I'm about ready to call her a professional no, no. because she is very, very good. Mm -hmm. And uh, she does that at a whim. And uh, I'm proud to say she did some photography for me and uh, even got down and laid down on concrete to get a picture. <laughs> now, when you do that, you're either nutty or you're real committed well when you have three kids you probably call it more nutty <laughs> <laughs> but uh you're just a jack of all trades miss and, Kylie. Bless and, and anybody listening uh, might recognize your voice too if they listen to uh, a scanner or something like oh, that yeah yeah, yeah. So, oh, she's the 911 operator. Did I say that? No, you Rutherford didn't. County, yeah. Yeah, so over in Rutherford okay. County, 911 uh, dispatcher. So uh, I tell you, that's a demanding job in itself right there. It is. So I don't know what the girl don't do, uh, <laughs> I tell you. But, uh, you know, raising three children and being a wife and mother and 911 and Operation Christmas Child, amateur photographer. Um, and somehow she found time to be here with us today. Yes, she did. Well, yeah. my wonderful husband stayed home this morning with the three boys so that I could come up here. So okay. thank you for doing that, honey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I Please. hope he's watching. So yeah. thank you, you Robert, for, so she could come. Right. Anything else on your uh, notes about the, the project that you'd like to pass along? Have we, have we missed anything? I think we've done pretty good. We've so. covered it, covered yeah. it all pretty well. I'm just the type right. person I don't want to be underprepared, so I just... Mm -hmm throw anything in there I can. Uh, can people, I guess they can't, uh, if they have shoe boxes, they can give them to other folks. If, if they can't do it themselves, they can, they can, you know, disperse these shoe boxes to folks who, who can fill them up. Yeah, uh, I'm or, sure they're looking for shoe boxes all the time. Yeah. And if people that's on fixed income, you know, or you can't afford to do all of one shoe box, get two or three of you together, mm -hmm. you know, and put one together and put a note in there to the child. The child ain't going to, to know you know that you didn't buy all of that one thing so it don't matter to them you know mm -hmm. they're happy to get anything so mm -hmm. and these go to children you said every uh, they cycle through every 12 years so it's birth through 12 at year of so yeah. age they get these shoeboxes. and people they think you know well, how many children are there out there and don't realize that in the u.s alone there are 300 million people in the u.s okay mm -hmm. but in 2006 there were three over 300 million children in india alone wow yeah. mm. so even if Fast every numbers. single person in the u.s packed a shoebox we still wouldn't reach the child the children mm. just in india so it, there's a lot of children out there like that. Mm. yeah yeah folks think you don't think how populated that some of these other countries really are. They are, yeah. yeah. Compared to the United States, where there's a lot of people here, too. Yeah. All right. Well, it's really been nice having you with us today. Yeah, thank I hope you. I yeah. hope we covered it all pretty well there. Sandy, anything you'd like to 
Say well, right. I, I think it's been a joy to have you, and uh, I know I'm going to fix a few boxes. Yay! I will. <laughs> I will. And uh, it, again, we're glad to have you, and uh, thank you for all that you do. Uh, master of everything. <laughs> uh, but uh, maybe we can have you back again and I'd and like see that. how Operation Christmas Child went over. Okay, that sounds good. That's yeah. good. All right. Okay. That's going to wrap it up for our show today then, and we thank you very much for tuning in. And, Sandy, uh, we've got some uh, things in the works for Tuesday yes, and Wednesday do. on the program. We're waiting to get some uh, last-minute confirmations on some guests. But we'll have a show for you tomorrow right here. And, as always, if you have any ideas of uh, people or topics for the program, the community profile, please let us know. We uh, try to do things from the uh, surrounding counties, Gaston, Lincoln, Cleveland counties, mm -hmm. and the surrounding area as well. So, uh, uh, And a lot of times we have uh, guests back on uh, right. to update us on how things are going with their, with their projects, etc. So thank you for listening in today. And we'll see you tomorrow right here. Bye.